And now with GMA Investigates and a warning for pet owners. You may know poinsettias, chocolate, and grapes can all make your pets sick, but another house plant kills up to three out of four pets that eat it in one state. It's the top call to animal poison control. ABC Steve Osinsami is in Atlanta with the story. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, George. The name families need to remember is the sago palm. It used to be a southern thing, but you now can find it in garden centers across the country. It looks innocent enough, but this one plant is responsible for spike in poisonings. Take a look at this everyday plant that grows in homes across America. It's the sago palm, and one small bite from its leaves is enough to kill. One or two seeds is enough to kill a dog. Tiffany and Taylor Smith lost a piece of their heart when their four-year-old bulldog, Walter, died two days before Christmas 2014. We never knew what happened to Walter. But it all made sense when history repeated itself with their new puppy, Wilbur, suffering seizures just hours after they saw him chewing on a sago palm. Exact yeah. same symptoms. So he Googled it. And the first thing I saw was poison control and emergency vet. Veterinarian came in and he said he has a 50-50 chance. He was already in stage three liver failure. This time, their dog survived. Is this one of the most difficult things you guys have ever dealt with? Easily. Yeah. Yeah. How do you explain that to someone? <laughs> it's the worst. It's like losing a family member or a child. Over the last 10 years, the nation's leading animal cruelty prevention organization says that more than 1,400 dogs have been poisoned by sago palms. 34 of them die. But surprisingly, we found that no federal agency is responsible for warning pet owners about this plant. That means it's at each store's discretion to let you know. GMA Investigates wanted to find out how often are sago palms sold without warning labels. So we sent producers to 11 stores across the country. We are at Walmart. On the hunt for those labels. First thing you see, extremely poisonous animals. At one Walmart and one Home Depot, we found warnings on every plant. But at the five Lowe's stores we visited, we found it was different from store to store. In one New Jersey store, no warning labels on any of the plants we found. But in this California store... You can see there is a warning label. A label on each one. And at all four mom and pop stores we visited... No warning label at all on this plant. So we asked this store clerk why. Do you know whether they're safe for animals? If animals were to, to ingest them, it would be harmful. So do you guys caution people if they're buying them? Only if they uh, ask that question. That store did not respond after our repeated requests for comment, but Lowe's did, telling us it's our intention that every sago palm be labeled. Tags may come off before they are purchased, so we're looking into ways the tags can be more consistently affixed. Ultimately, buyers need to beware. What do you say now to dog owners everywhere? Oh. Remove the plants. Yeah. Take them out of your yard, out of your house. Mm -hmm. They are not worth it. It's important to remember that the entire plant is toxic, not just the leaves, but the seeds most poisonous. And it's not just pets getting sick. This same plant is responsible for poisonings in Florida for children under five, a quarter of those children between 2009, since 2009. Georgia Ooh. Robin. Boy, that is dangerous. Important information. Thank you, Steve. Coming up, we have a parenting alert, the hidden dangers of online gaming. And we've got...